What's up, Finley? Hey, Finley. Hi, baby. What's going on, folks? Gabe Montgomery here, 10 Horse Mining YouTube channel, and we're out here on the lake. Got a few hours to spend this afternoon. Bluebird skies, complete sun, and we got wind. Fall has been about wind lately for me. Um, brought my fishing dog with me, Finley. So subscribe to the channel for the dog if you don't like what I'm doing. And I'm going out there, I'm chasing suspended fish today. Keeping it pretty simple. Um, I've got an Alabama rig. I've got a spoon. I'm trying to learn that spoon game. I've got my underspin here. I've got this little Cumberland Pro Pro Spin. It's got a little Colorado blade on the back. What else do we got here? Over there, we got a jerk bait. I got a spook on there, and I got a deep diving crank bait. And I got a big swim bait and a hair jig and a shaky head just for backup. So that's what we're gonna do. We don't have a lot of time, so. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm trying to work on my offshore game a little bit this year over the winter at least so we're gonna be graphing looking for balls of shad and looking for bass that are relating to those balls of shad we're gonna see what happens go out there play around give it a few hours hopefully we'll learn something that is always the goal to have fun and to learn something a little bit underdressed I should have grabbed my sock cap I didn't realize the wind was gonna be blowing that bad it's like 45 degrees out here so Wind chill is probably around 40. I'm gonna put some heavy socks on, put my Gore-Tex boots on, go out there and make a day of it. So here we go. That man right there saved the day for me. That man saved the day. Shout out to Ron DeRosa, man. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to be a little too finicky on launching my boat and I kept trying to, this boat ramp is real shallow. So I was trying to get my trailer real deep and just have my boat kind of halfway float up a little bit and then pull back up. And that way I could just walk down the trailer tongue and, and not get wet. And uh, so I got a little bit too deep on the trailer. And next thing you know, my boat's floating out and the wind's pushing out of the cove and there's nobody around so luckily ron was out here fishing on the lake i gave him a phone call and he was just a couple minutes away and he ran up in here and jumped in his boat and he took me out to my boat so we're all good now we're gonna go out there and see if we can catch some fish but fun times man fun times Sixteenth ounce head, so that was one that was on the top. <laughs> Found a little bit of bait. Not seeing uh, there's a few bass right there. Tell you what, though, it is weird to see that smokestack without any smoke coming out of it. Um, they kind of halfway shut the power plant down this year. This is a power plant lake, and you always see smoke coming out of that smokestack unless they're doing maintenance on there. And they shut down several of the lines. And there's a little bit of smoke coming out. And everybody's kind of wondering what kind of winter, what, what the fishing's gonna be like this winter on this lake. Because it's, it's a warm water lake. And it's not gonna be a warm water lake. So, just 
sharing that little moment with you. Right by the power plant, we've actually got 62 degree water temps. The marina was 58, so they are putting on a little hot water. That's very, very encouraging. We're starting to see some bass right there, finally. Got some bait, we got some fish below the bait. Been kind of idling around for about 30 minutes, just checking checking different places and I haven't found anything that's worth stopping on yet. This might be something I might, I think I'm gonna actually stop and make a few casts, see what happens. Good one. Jerk bait. There you go. A little SP seventy eight action. folks uh man it is cold out here i didn't bring enough clothes but uh that's a nice jerk bait fish beautiful it's that little lucky trap 78 Fish. Caught me one. All right, there you go, guys. Just throwing the spoon out here on these deep fish. That's a nice fat fish. That was fun. A lot of fun. 
this guy go. Alright boys and girls, the trip is over. It was kind of tough out here. Um, managed to catch a few fish. I just chased those suspending fish around. A lot of bait, a lot of bass. They were real finicky today. Um, it's pulse frontal conditions. And man, I was cold. I never really warmed up. Gotta get back, go pick up my kids. And it, it just gets dark too early this time of year. You know, it's about 4.30. I had about I don't know, I've had about three and a half hours to fish. I did manage to catch one pretty nice fish and then maybe one small over. Um, the rest were just dinks, but um, stuck with my guns. Just kept chasing those suspending fish around. That's something I'm really gonna work on this year. So thanks for coming along on this little short adventure. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not. Share it, hit the little bell notification, and until next time, I'm gonna get in the truck, turn the heater on, Finley's code. I'm code. I'm going to put this boat on the trailer and head back to the house. See ya.